Welcome to today's broadcast. I'm going to be reading from Psalm 118 and verse number 25. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, say now prosperity. Prayer is the key to everything in God's kingdom. A prayerless believer is not just powerless, it's a potential backslider. Nothing happened in God's kingdom except it has happened in the place of prayer. So everything happened twice. Number one, when you desire it. Number two, when you pray about it. And maybe when you begin to see it is the manifestation of those two paths. So God said, anything you desire when you pray, he said that we answer. So prayer is the key to everything that will come from God's presence. And prosperity must be a prayer point. I'd like you to look at the scripture today. If you have not started making prosperity your daily prayer, you don't wish to prosper. In fact, it's so important that even if you sow seed, if you try to go to school, you still need prayer. I love the way Matthew chapter 7, verse number 7, put it in the message Bible. Don't bargain with God. Don't assume he knows what you want. Don't assume he's going to just bless you. You're going to just, things are just going to work out the way they want. No, assumption is not part of God's covenant um, exercises. You must learn how to be direct. So he said, don't bargain with God. Be direct. Ask what you need. Ask what you want. You need to be a prosperity prayer warrior. That scripture said, save now. You are not saved until you prosper. Your salvation is going to have a lot of contour. It's going to have a lot of stress. It, it doesn't show in your finances. God wants you to prosper. So this scripture says, save now from the hand of poverty. That's what he's saying. Um, I beseech thee. Can you imagine, Father, oh Lord, oh Lord. Look at the emphasis. I beseech thee, send now prosperity. That should be the greatest prayer point of a believer. Send now, not tomorrow. Not the day after tomorrow. Send now prosperity. The blessing of the Lord make it rich and added no sorrow. But let me inform you, that blessing comes from above. And anything that is above is above all. You must become, make it a daily prayer point. Look at it. The prayer Jesus taught us, Our Father who art in heaven, I will be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done in heaven as it is in earth. Give us this day our daily bread. Prosperity. Prosperity. Give us. Send now prosperity. Stop making fire prayer alone. The most constant prayer on a daily basis. Sometimes three, four, five times a day, Lord send prosperity. The more you can ask God for prosperity, the most prosperous you become. So I will say it boldly that prosperity begins in the place of prayer. In the place of asking the right question. Say now, Lord. You're going out. Say now, prosperity. Let your angel of prosperity go before me. Send the angel of prosperity to the life of my children, the life of my husband, the life of my wife. Send now prosperity. And he said, whatsoever you ask, when you pray, believe and it shall be done. So you have to start praying for prosperity. Even when you want to, to eat food, you want to drink water, everywhere you go, Father, Lord, send prosperity. It must be a prayer that shouldn't leave your mouth. It must be a daily prayer point in order for you to prosper. There's nothing the devil fear most than your prosperity. I'd like you to write it boldly under this uh, video. Prayer before prosperity. God bless you. See you tomorrow.